All right. Um, as far as the injuries go, um, Charles and Pacheco will uh, start working today. Um, and we'll just gradually build them up as we go. Um, and, and that's really it. Everybody else is practicing. So uh, look forward to the challenge of playing the Bills. Real good football team. We know that. We've played them several times here over the last few years. So um, we know they're well coached and a good team. And we got good players. So we've got to start our work day to day and get and get busy with it. Get preparation. Time's yours. Could you imagine a scenario where either Isaiah or Charles played this week? Uh, unlikely. As you look at the, the Bills, it had, you know, obviously roster change in all the teams. But they, they look significantly different on offense with some of the defections on wide receiver. They're pretty much the same stuff. No, I mean, they're doing well. They've similar, similar stuff, but quarterback's playing real well, and I, he know, he likes those receivers that he has. So um, they're, they're, they're moving around well, and they seem to be on the same page. Good tight ends, you know. So good running back. Andy, uh, Lonnie Morris, how's he doing? And uh, what, what, what happened with him in the game? He got hurt, came out for a while, but it looked like he could have gone back in, and then he finally did. But. Yeah, he, he got on the stationary bike where he's waiting to get the thing under control there. So um, he tweaks it every now and then, and that's what happens. So he comes out, and then he, he's able to go back in. Coach, what's your optimism level on a return for wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster? Uh, there's a good chance he, he's back. We'll, we'll see as we go through practice. But um, if it's up to him, he's back. Yeah. <laughs> And Josh Allen's been more efficient this year, less turnovers. How has he been able to do that based on what you've seen on tape? Yeah, he's doing a great job with with the ball. Um, he he uh, he's using everybody, and uh, he's not forcing anything in there. Obviously, so he uh, he's, I think he's doing great with with his decision making. Andy, <clears throat> every position has a rookie learning curve. With left tackle, what is the difficulty of coming right into the NFL? Yeah, well, you've got good players on the other side that play against that left tackle, and uh, um, and when you're young, you know there's going to be a couple of hiccups in there. You just got to bear with it as they grow. Before one you got hurt, he was doing a doing a nice job out there, but um, that thing, you know, you had the bone bruise before, and then he tweaks it every once in a while. So it takes a minute to calm down, then he comes back in. But um, every week he's gotten a little bit better. Uh, that he's been starting, so that's a that's a positive um, going forward. Here. Andy, with one, you mentioned the bone bruise. Is that like a long term issue that you might have more concern about going forward, or is it something? He's not just... doing anything to hurt it worse. That's not what's going on. But these things are like a little bit like the high ankle sprain that way, where you bring them back and they tweak it and they sit for a little bit, calms down, come back out, and they go. So different injury, but I mean it's a you know, what he had. Andy, I know you've spoken to this a bit, but what do you think has enabled DeAndre to have such an impact so fast? And obviously, it's talent and, and intelligence, but what, what, what is it that's made it all come together that way? Yeah, well, he's always been a great player. And this offense gives him opportunities, um, his style of player, and the quarterback trusts him. So, and then the what he is is what you saw on Sunday with the one catch on the crossing route, where Dirty Tough lands on the football, is able to get up, shows no sign of weakness on that, and wants to get back in and go. And um, that's been him. Tough catch, contested ball, lands on it hard, and gets back in and plays and wants more. <clears throat> and from the outside looking in, anyway, I think it seems like he gives you a little different dimension than some guys have in the past. Do you agree with that? Is that Seem like a, that range of things he can do. Well, he's great with the contested balls. That's what he's he's great with. So if you get it in, and he's got long arms, big hands, and if you get it in that radius, you're, you're pretty sure he's going to get that something like that. So, um, you know, but, well, we've had good receivers here, but, and we have good receivers here. So, but that that's his strength, right there. Andy, when it comes to Korean High, obviously a lot of carries. I took the last three games, he had 70 carries. You did, how is this conditioning going on so far and going into this game with Buffalo where you might have to lean on him even more? You know, How are you trying to complement him and measure his carries out? 
Yeah, so we threw them the ball a little bit more this past week. They were doing a good job inside, just kind of shutting off the run game part of it. And um, so we ended up getting them the ball. We like to get them the ball whatever way we can get him the ball because he's a good player. He's doing well for just coming off the couch. Um, I mean, he's like second in the league for the number of games he's played on carries and, and yards. So, I mean, he's, he's doing a heck of a job. Um, and he wants more. So he's not, he's not asking to come out now. That's not, not quite how he's wired, but he's, he's doing well. You know, he fell on his leg there. One of the guys fell on his leg and kind of tweaked it a little bit, but he's fine. Coach Xavier started out the season pretty fast, made a, you know, a little bit of an impact. He's kind of tapered off a little bit. Are you sensing any frustration from him? What are you saying? I haven't. Okay. Um, he's a competitive kid. and. These things work like that. You know, he's got he's got a lot of guys around him that have played, and he's he's learning as he goes. But he, he's so smart. And he's got talent, and teams are playing all that shell coverage on the back end. So some of his deep stuff, they, they try to take it away there. But um, he'll, he, that's not the only thing he can do. So he, uh, it's just a matter of getting him. There, there's going to be a game here somewhere where he gets a lot of catches, and we all kind of go, all right, yeah, that's how those things work. We'll go across the room. Go ahead, man. Coach Leo wins as AFC Special Teams Player of the Week. Not a big surprise. We've, we've talked about him developing as a defensive player, but he's been a key special teams player for a while. How important is he? Yeah, Tobe banks on him um, uh, to be a core guy for him. Uh, Spags banks on him to be uh, a guy for him where he, that he can move around and do different things from spying a quarterback to being a, a very good pass rusher to – being able to set an edge um, in the run game. So he's a valuable guy. He doesn't say much, uh, but does a lot. He's a, so we all depend on him. Dave? Uh, Sean McDermott talked this morning about how he likes seeing you on TV with your commercials because that's the personality he got to know over 12 years with you. What was Sean like working with him, his personality? Did we see? What he's like when he's at the podium or on the sideline, or or he's something else. Yeah, I I haven't watched his press conference, but he's got a great personality. Um, you know, fellow redhead man, he does. He's he's a he's a heck of a football coach, and he came from a father that was a football coach, and so he grew up around it. Was a good football player himself, and um, just top notch. Have a lot of respect for him. What he's done. Sam? Andy, you are sort of Xavier worthy, but what did you see on the way he was able to create separation on that deep pass? Was there anything more than missing just, just in his throw? Yeah. No, he, that was it. He, uh, he did a great job on that one uh, of getting behind the guy. And uh, that's a good corner, too. So he gave him a little hezzy move and took it from there. So did a nice job with it. And somewhere we'll get. All that works out, you know. It will happen. Just gotta keep rolling. Okay. Thanks, All right. Good.